Yeah, I mean, that's another thing that, I, that I've talked to a lot of young people about is like, I don't care what your background is. I don't care if you're the nerd of the school, the cool kid of the school. Like, what is really cool once you get a little older is just having comfort in who you are. Mm -hmm. Like, you could be the cat that, you know, is, is reads comic books or anything that's traditionally nerdy or whatever, but even if you get around people and you're comfortable with who you are, you might absorb a few jokes, but they're going to respect you. And they're going to think you cool because you're comfortable in, in your yourself. Own, yeah. In your skin. Um, don't man, anything else about the videos that we may not, cause the videos obviously are crucial to, to your success thus far. Is there anything else about the videos that, that we should know in terms of how you put them together or what you're thinking about when you, when you release a video? My, this is my answer. I'll give I'll give an answer. People want to see your face. So mm -hmm. you have to eventually like get rid of the shyness and discomfort that you have with being on camera. And a lot of times people are shy about that because they are insecure about something. You know what I mean? They don't like how they face look. They don't like how they nose look or whatever like that. And I had that same thing. But I was like, hey, nobody really cares that much. Nobody's right. cycle. Nobody's cycle analyzing me or analyzing every single single aspect of the video. There's like five mistakes in every single video that a lot of people wouldn't point out because only I know it. But somebody, another artist will see these mistakes and like, damn, I can't even put this out because there's a, the, the aspect ratio is all, nobody gives a fuck about an aspect ratio. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? But I'll say that this, that's my advice for these people. Like, just like, um, show your face. Cause you, you have to, if you want to be this, you have to show your face and be comfortable with showing your face. And somebody said, show your face and connect. TikTok 03 says, show your face and connect. Show your face and connect. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what resonates with people too in these videos. Like I'm really talking to you like I'm the homie, even though I'm I'm on a video. And that's something that y'all should tap into. Right. And obviously it's the content of these songs too. Like you're just talking that's like that's some, some real shit. Like, you know, I think it's a lot of, it's a lot of things people are thinking and know, but aren't traditionally in songs. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're talking about, you know, the perception of celebrities and, well, you could tell people like some, what are some of the other themes that, that run through your music? So the certain thing, like I made a song about getting a new apartment. I made a song about uh, men being able to, uh, not being able to express their emotions. I made a song about how celebrities are idolized. I made a song about fake friends. I made a song about waffles. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I my my I, I had to sit down with myself and say why what is my purpose as far mm -hmm. as why I do this. I, it used to be money, clothes, hoes, fame, stuff like that. Stuff I don't really care about anymore. I care about it because it makes me money, but I don't care about it for my validation, my own validation of myself. And mm -hmm. what I came to find was that I just want to make music for the people that don't know how to say what they feel, right? And I go with that in mind every time I record a song, every time I make a video to that song i'm like is this speaking towards things that people think about every single day that they don't tend to hear in a song they may see it in a youtube video with somebody talking about it or in an interview with somebody talking about it but they don't really hear it in a song where they can repeat and then it activates this right brain part where it, they can combine thoughts uh, i don't even know how to say what i'm saying but you get you get what i'm saying so i i just make music for people that don't know how to say what they feel 